Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is officially content overload on FC24 with this ultimate birthday team that is probably one of the biggest promo teams, including icons and promo cards that I've ever seen in packs. We had one of the craziest objectives I've ever seen yesterday, and the Evos continue. It's just out of control in this game. And of course, with the content as good as it is, existing player prices are just crashing because, well, Everybody wants the new stuff, and the new stuff is crazy. So we're going to talk about all that today and look forward to what could be happening on a Monday in FC20. Will it slow down is the question, or will it keep going at this uh, breakneck speed pace? Let's talk about it. If you guys are excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go to the SBCs first because we knew we were getting Makalele yesterday, and kind of as we hoped, this was an icon that's a little bit easier to craft, right? The price is coming in. I think it's right around a million coins. I'm having a hard time finding it on Footbin. But this card for a million coins, it doesn't look bad. I wouldn't say that it's like OMG insane, but it does look like a cheaper icon SBC if you want to craft, if you want to try Makalele. Bruiser and Quick Step Plus. What a interesting combination for a center defensive mid low high work rates as well this is a stay back cdm if i've ever seen one conte-esque if you will uh 81 passing throws me off a little bit i'll be honest the five star weak foot is nice though um the passing stats it's himself i mean vision's a little low short pass and long pass are, are usable i think you definitely need a chem style on this card to boost that passing 100%, whatever you put on the card. His defending and physical stats look insane though, and his play styles look insane too. I would, honestly, if this card was a center back with like a six foot or above build, he would be a crazy center back. Um, and I'm sure that he's very, very rapid with the uh, 85 pace, which is a very, I guess it's not that big of a pace split, but 87 acceleration and the quick step plus, he's gotta be pretty fast. So again, it's nine squads, which actually means it's about uh, six squads, right? 85, six, seven, eight, eight, and then nine. A little bit pricey, I think, but not bad. A lot of people like it. I'm a little surprised that this SBC is 90% upvoted on Footbin, but it is a really, really solid SBC, and I'm sure that he is good in game. Now, the other SBC that really is the big one from yesterday, guys, it's the Icon Player Pick. It did drop as released, and it's not cheap, which was also expected just, again, because this is the first time this year we have had an Icon Player Pick that doesn't have base icons in it, and they even left out uh, the Ultimate Dynasty and the Centurions icons. These are the latest three icons besides Future Stars and Foot Birthday. But Thundershuck Winter Wild Cards Team of the Year. Guys, if there's ever an icon gamble to do and ever a time to do it, I think this is the one. I know that it's a bit expensive, but again, what do we talk about with these? Last week, we had the Encore Icon Upgrade, which was cheap. And the pack luck was shocking. It was fun to craft because it was cheap, but cheap. But most of those were cheeks, right? Now this, you have a higher likelihood of packing something very good, something legendary, you might say. That's just why it's more expensive. I've seen good ones of these. We opened a couple on stream yesterday. Zola was a popular card that you could pack from this. We saw somebody pack Winter Wild Cards Pele. It's possible, right? Drogba Winter Wild Cards. You have a much greater chance of getting something insane from this. So especially if there's like a player SBC or if there's not any player SBCs that you want to do right away, just put this on the back burner. You can do it one time. Um, it does refresh in a couple of days. I did not notice that. I thought it was out once for the next six days. You got a couple days to get it done with the player picks with the SBCs for upgrade packs, the 82 times 20 and exchanges. I think it's very craftable, not to mention all of the fodder packs and objectives as well. It'll be pretty easy to get done if you're grinding the game at this point. I don't have a problem with the price. I don't. I mean, we knew it was going to be expensive, but it is crazy. That's why it's kind of expensive. So let's talk about how fodder reacted to this because fodder was up big time. Even yesterday when I was talking about 88s on the video, remember guys, they were up they were 16,000 coins. Now, actually, let me rephrase that. Fodder was up big time. It is not really up big time right now. Fodder was on a roller coaster ride yesterday, right? Yesterday in the video, we, we talked about it, right? 16K for the 88s. I bought a couple there. And I think once this leak came out that this player pick was like official, FIFA Trading Romania, one of the leakers we talk about and look at his tweets often, said that it was coming out. Fodder exploded up to 20,000 coins. And I think this was like right around or right before content. 
fodder peaked like right at content maybe a little bit before and there was also some cards that went up a little bit more afterwards it was like the 87s 88s 89s and 90s that all went up but they are since down and they're not down much but they're down just a little bit and i think that has to do with the fact that we got those insane lightning rounds and that this is only a one-time repeatable SBC for right now. You're going to be able to do it later on in the week, which is why I'm still very... I'm pretty actually um, positive thinking on fodder. I think this is a pretty solid investment. If you go in on the 88s, 89s, and 90s, and maybe even a couple of 91s, I think that over the course of the next week, it could end up rising a decent amount in price, especially because the icon player pick is refreshing. You, of course, got the icons like Makalele, Roberto Carlos, Socrates, and other bigger expensive SBCs like Kingsley Coman that are still out that it require the higher rated squads inside of them. So I think there's a decent chance for this to actually go up in price, but I don't know when it starts to like fly, if you will, right? I mean, I'm eyeing the 90 rated cards a little bit. Um, yesterday they went from 38, 39k, they did peak at like 42,000, but then they kind of went down after content with the lightning rounds, people that maybe invested that didn't see the return they wanted right away, selling off. If we get lightning rounds today on Monday, which is a very big part of content we're going to be watching for today, if we get the big packs, the 88 plus, 85, 7, 84, 10 tradable lightning rounds in the store, I would watch out for fodder to potentially drop and that be a really good buy window for some of those cards as they could rise a little bit later on the more SBCs that we get specifically the more icon SBCs that we get that's just more higher rated fodder demand for those higher tier cards and that could just naturally push their prices up because we've got more SBCs out that people are trying to do with those cards so that's kind of the fodder situation at the moment there i think there's opportunities for an investment i'm not going to go crazy with it i'm talking opportunities like i'm just going to stock some in my club when i see a price that i like put it on the transfer list lazy list it because the sbcs and the content's crazy people are going to be buying those cards let's go to yeah let's go to objectives man because yesterday as well was uh an objective day that we didn't expect yesterday was saint patrick's day right um and ea celebrated in really solid fashion with this St. Patrick's Day objective, which is honestly pretty crazy. Uh, this is one of the wildest objectives I think I've seen in a long time because you get some really nice players from this, but also at the same time, you get uh, some pretty nice packs, right? It's a, it's a laddered or a tiered objective is how I would describe it, right? All you have to do is assist a goal with a defender in three matches to get this kicked off. You get the Collins card, and then you use Collins to upgrade to get a pack, and then to also get O'Sullivan. Then you use O'Sullivan, right? Then you get Cullen. You use Cullen. You get an 81 times 11. You get Ogbean. You get a 83 times 10. And then uh, you're at the end. You get the pot of gold 83 times 10. And then at the very end as well, you get an 84 times 10. I mean, this is light work. I mean, it's not going to take that many games to get done. Yeah, there's a couple of them in here. Win five matches, uh, concede one or less goal in four separate matches. That's just squad battles. Easy. Compile that with an EVO that you're working on. This is really, really an easy grind if you combine it with evolutions for this next week. That'd, one, that'd be one thing that I would tell you to do to make your squad battles worth the most amount of your time to do those but great packs and even some pretty cool cards to be honest inside of that absolute w from ea it's very similar to the kolomani objective if you want to think of it that way right because you're kind of uh upgrading as you go that's why i called it like a laddered or a tiered objective also a lot of you guys have been asking and yes ea has not said anything about the daily play it is not counting for me i'm sure it's not counting for just about all you guys that is because it is bugged, and EA in their tweet yesterday, like we saw once again, said that they will be extending the objective for however long it takes them to fix it, they will be extending it. So have no fear, our uh, daily play objective will be fixed. So watch out for that. We'll see if EA tweets about it, and then we will know that it is fixed. Now, let's go to the big place on content that we're all talking about once again. It is Evolutions. Guys, they dropped an expensive one, all right? But I think it's worth the coins especially if you're going to trade a little bit and if you want to look at it as i'm going to trade up to get these cards to pay for the evos Two hundred thousand coins for the secret stuff evo i know a lot of you guys don't like that and we talked in depth about this yesterday on the second channel i'll link that up above um trying to put more videos in the second channel especially when we have these crazy evos to talk about we did some more in-depth talking there especially right after it dropped it was fresh on the top of the mind i know two hundred thousand coins is expensive but i think it's honestly worth it here's our technical plus boost and our 
five star skill move upgrade. The only caveat was they added an extra requirement from the leak. The leaks were spot on. There was no max 85 requirement in this, but there was a max four star skill move requirement, which does not make a handful of players, including Cristiano Ronaldo, evolvable for this, which is just, I mean, that's a little bit frustrating. Um, but I love that there's no max rating. Look at the James Madison that I can create from this. Technical plus with dead ball, giving him 88 pace. Uh, absolutely insane, right? Technical plus in this card with 94 passing and 90 dribbling. That looks like such a fun card for me. This De Bruyne is a very popular one. A lot of people are taking this flashback De Bruyne who is a staple of this game early on in the year and giving him an upgrade to make him more usable. Aubameyang looks pretty cracked too. And also, I just want to take a mention to this Mukhtar card that's in my club. Just to show you guys and like show you the possibilities here, this 83 rated Mukhtar, since the Secret Stuff Evo only gives a plus two, which we, again, we talked in depth about on the second channel, this card actually I could put into the Birthday Magic Evo and get a technical plus 90 rated with rapid plus on the card. I don't even know what the stat boost would look like, but he would have both of those play styles because he fits right now into the uh, birthday magic Evo with those requirements, right? He only has 89 pace and he has less than 90 uh, dribbling and less than 87 physicality. So like this combination, the birthday magic and the secret stuff Evo can create some nutty combinations. Here's one of them just to show you. Gakpo, who I have in the club too. It's going to be expensive. Yes, it's going to cost you 200k. But the birthday magic Evo is free. This is why I like, especially when, like, we learned this during winter wild cards. When EA is going crazy with the Evos, take a step back. Let them drop three or four of them. And then realize, oh my goodness, I could, even with two of these insane Evos, make an even more insane card. And I'm starting to see some crazy upgrades out there. From a Gakpo, this 4-4 that is 85 pace to a 90 pace, 90 dribble, 5-star, 4-star with technical plus and rapid plus Gakpo, right? That's just one example of a card that you can fit into there from his base gold version. Um, if you go on foot.gg and do a lot of Evo searching, this is a great place to do it. Matisse Tell has another one. There's even combinations you can do right now with the Golden Glow Up if you still have that one available. Because Golden Glow Up gives incisive pass. And that's a great playstyle plus. You could compile that with secret stuff and have a center attack in mid who's um, incisive pass and technical plus and have five star skills, right? So there's so many combinations with the Evos. Like we talked about yesterday, Evos are so back. And also one last shout again to sell in the hype for Evo cards, man. Hyunmin Sun, I think looks great for this Evo, but he was so invested in Bro has gone from 24,000 coins, 23,000 coins. He went all the way to 17K. He's going back up a little bit now as people realize, okay, Sun at card with the finesse and the technical plus actually looks pretty cracked in this. But sell those cards in the hype, guys, because literally all of them yesterday, I don't think there was like any of them that didn't drop off. This Sobo slide was 100K, and now he is, okay, he's back up. He was, I think, like 60 or almost 60. He was 73,000 coins. So the investors kind of panic sold and, and some of those are starting to rebound back up, it looks like. But the Evos are going crazy. You guys know that. You don't even need me to tell you that. Um, I guess you just have to decide, is it worth me spending the coins to go ahead um, and do these Evos? And the way that I'm looking at it is I'm trading right now. I'm doing a little bit of extra trading and flipping. Just bought a Rodrigo for 881 and his cheapest on the market right now is 1.049. I'm going to list this up because that is an insane trade. I love these foot birthday cards, man. They are so freaking good to trade with if you time it right. So I'm going to undercut just a little at 1.03 because I bought three of those Rodrigos today at 900K or below. I picked up a Barella. I'll talk about that uh, in a second later. But I'm trying to just look at it as like, all right, I'm going to trade my way a little bit and try to flip cards um, on my way to affording those evolutions. And also, a quick shout as well. Make sure you're doing the uh, daily SPC refresh of the challenge, the flash challenge. I think it goes away soon. Yeah, make sure you're doing this. That's free coins every two hours with the daily gold upgrade. Maybe if you have leftover gold non-rares from exchanges or whatever, that's some free coins. I mean, if you hit something big, you get a lot of coins, right? But make sure you're doing those as well to get coins right now in the current state of the game that we are in. Now, last thing to talk about is the store and the mini release. One big pack that they dropped yesterday that is worth mentioning. Uh, all the uh, lightning rounds have expired by now, but the big pack that everybody's talking about is the 750K ultimate birthday icon guaranteed. $50. We saw somebody on the stream yesterday open up this pack. 
Not to mince words, guys, but it's not worth it. I mean, yeah, you have a 99% chance of a birthday player, 100% chance of an icon. It was not worth it at all. He got a Closa in the pack. I mean, if you're going to full send it for the gamble, do you. Um, but Because uh, I mean, that is a crazy pack, but man, that's that's a lot of a pack right there. And um, yeah, that's, that's a wild one. So that was one of the biggest things, but... What it, I think was even bigger was what in the world EA put in packs. We had a mini release. If there weren't enough cards in packs already, we have even more. We have two versions of Schweinsteiger, a five-star weak foot and a five-star skill version. Cracked card for him. Just needs a hunter, and you have an absolutely insane card in game. He is extinct right now um, at, wait, 380k is his max price. What are they doing? Oh, that 5-7? That's so low. What the world? Why is that so low, man? Butro Gueno also looks cracked, and he's extinct at 1.9, but he should be because that's a 5-5 five, five Butro with technical plus and quick step plus. And finesse shot. Regular. Good night. That is an insane card, and I understand why he's extinct at 1.9 million. Now, the other card that's extinct that is just absolutely going to be one of the top center backs in this game, hands down. You guys know... I'm not a Varane fan in real life, but I am a fan of Varane in this game because he is so good in this game. I've used the Thunderstruck for games on games. I talked about that when we were mentioning the Evo, right, that has dropped recently. This card is just different, right, and this card is going to be different. I would not be surprised. I don't know how much this card's going to be, man, but he is going to be very, very expensive, and 1.5 mil is not enough, so watch out for a price range update on him. He might be like, Two, three mil, man. Seriously, this Varon card is going to be unbelievable. Plus six pace and six physical. And his animations are just broken. So he was a big part of the mini release yesterday. And then a whole bunch of other fodder cards. Uh, Paulinia, Roared, Pulisic got two items. I would not buy this Pulisic card because he is almost minimum price. I know it's a really nice card for a cheap budget player, but I would not buy it in my opinion because he's going to be below 30k once his price range gets updated. That's just a shout out there. If you have him, I'd probably try to sell him. Sorloth is dope. If you need somebody to uh, head in some crosses, he's got Aerial Plus. He's got Chip Shot, which whatever. He's also got Finesse, which I think is pretty dope. Relentless is a striker in Rapid. And uh, yeah, Five Star Weak Foot, which is dope too. So that's a lovely mini release there um, just because... It's more packable cards to make us feel like we have chances at packing the Bigfoot birthdays, even though we just keep packing the smaller ones. So let's talk about the market now because I've spent a lot of coins. I have done a lot of trading. This Rodrigo I bought at 900. This Chloe Kelly I got on bid, guys. Okay. I cannot stress enough bids. Okay. Bids are fantastic. I bought this for 600K flat, sold it for 700. And I missed out on another Chloe Kelly because she, uh, my, my game crashed. My game crashed and I missed out on a Chloe Kelly for. What was it? 511,000 coins. That was a big pain because that would have been over 100k profit. But these fantasy cards are insane to trade with, especially after they lose. Griezmann, uh, Atletico, lost yesterday. We'll talk about that Felix card in a second. He's down from like 2 point something mil under uh, 2 million coins there. So he is down bad. Chloe Kelly's another one. Just the market in general is, is down bad. But like, what do you expect? You know, with all of the content being as insane as it is, it's just going to keep dropping. The question is, when do we reach the bottom? Is there a bottom? When's it going to stop? I feel like we're getting towards the end of it. When we have crazy promos like this, Usually the content is mad nuts on the weekend, right? And it has been the last three days. It's been crazy. I think today it slows down a little bit. So I would be watching for maybe a foot birthday player that you want to try out or maybe just an out-of-pack special card. Maybe it's a live card. I picked up a, um, a Road to the Final yesterday for Haran. And uh, Guru Ritan is another one that I would keep an eye on because we've got Women's Champions League games this week and that means these cards have chances to upgrade and that means people are going to be investing 198 that's pretty low bro that's pretty low and they play on tuesday so that's the kind of card that you can watch out for this week for an investment um other road to the finals sure just rare cards that are out of packs those are your those are your types of cards guys for real those are the types of cards that you want to be watching and bids i'll say it again bids but I do think that prices could continue to drop a little bit here and there. Some cards probably have not dropped enough, um, and they will drop some more. But yeah, the content's insane. And I'll say this too. If you lost coins on a player from your team uh, in the last couple of days, whether it's a team of the year, really high tier meta card, or just something random, like I'm always happier losing coins when the content is banging like it is. 
uh, than rather than when it's just like, I don't know, investor driven or, or panic driven market crash when it's not actual content that's making the prices drop, but it's just people on the game undercutting or whatever it may be. So I'm fine with maybe I've lost a couple coins on some flips that I've tried. Uh, but I'm yeah, I'm gonna buy this for 198 because she was literally 210 yesterday. So I'm going for that. Um, but yeah, it's just crazy content that's making this market crash. Now, I will say I'm trading a lot with these foot birthdays because they move and they fluctuate like crazy and people are so hyped to try them out. They fluctuate in price a lot and their prices are down bad. I mean, I sold a Benzema yesterday. This Benzema card, I sold him right here for 1.557 or 5.8. It wasn't that big of a flip, but I'm so glad that I sold because he just got absolutely slammed into content all the way down to one point. 02 million which is still kind of where he is and a lot of these cards are down bad um and you saw like the rodrigo just uh fluctuation trading there um just some opportunities like diogo jota was 1.1 now he's 700k stuff like that these cards are fantastic to trade with but you have to be careful i do think if you want one to buy for like this week to play rivals try to get your rewards in right i think you want to look in the window of some time today it might be after content if we get the the lightning rounds it might be before content if there's panic selling right just watch for drops because there's definitely a lot of people worried about these card prices on the game at the moment so I would watch for the drops and watch for the movements, but I think there's potential to make coins in these cards and other places on the market if you time it right. Now, oh, same thing for the icons. Watch these cards as well. Van Nistelrooy is 250,000 coins. Um, that's 245. That's really low, right? He was like 400K on Saturday. Blanc was a card that went crazy yesterday. He went from 1.9 mil all the way down to 1.1 or under a mil. Okay, well, not quite 1.9, 1.6, 1.587, 1 down to 104, then back to 1.3. These guys move. They have demand. You can trade with them. That's what I'll tell you. Now, we got to talk about some upgrades, guys, because a lot of us did some SBCs, and this is a lot of the hype right now in this game, too. Where's my Joao Felix SBC completers? What a game. What an upgrade for Joao Felix. He is not upgraded yet, but he is going to be getting a plus two to go to 91 rated. That is one of the biggest showdown upgrades that is coming. Marius Wolf's getting a plus two because Dortmund won. And then, of course, uh, the spoils were tied between, or the spoils were split, right, between Inter and Napoli. So Bastoni plus one, Labatka plus one. Hopefully those upgrades come soon. They've been taking their sweet time on some of the upgrades, but hopefully those are coming very, very soon. Also, McCaskill is going to get a plus two. No upgrade for Crystal Dunn, unfortunately, if he did that SBC. And this one's probably, this is probably the most hype upgrade that is coming this week in this game. Wednesday is huge, right? Huge for this upgrade, guys. Rolfo, the women's Barca team absolutely went off. Who, ex who didn't expect this, right? Let's be honest. This is why we did the Rolfo SBC for these upgrades. But she got three upgrades clinched in one game their second game of the campaign a 6-0 win so you get the clean sheet she played so she's played two out of three i think she even scored in the game as well which doesn't count for the upgrades but they won their second and they hit 11 goals in two games unreal she's going to a 92 rated card on wednesday getting a plus three and this card is about to go if it wasn't already into just about everybody's team now, with that news and with uh, her game and her card upgrade pending, I did end up going and buying a couple of cards that link. Uh, just looking at a couple that I looked at right away was this Graham Hansen and the Salma Parloello. Um, Graham Hansen went up yesterday. A lot of these cards were invested in right when uh, they uh, clinched that feat. And those upgrades were kind of clinched. Watch out for these links, any Barca links, right? Even Felix. Like, I've got Felix, so I don't necessarily need anybody else. I've got icons on my team. I've got Felix. So, Rolfo's links are going to be covered with that and maybe a manager as well. But these cards have potential to go up because so many people have done Rolfo and they are going to want to link her in their team. So, watch out for that later on this week. But be prepared on the market maybe now to see some movement. That's why I wanted to shout that out today because I believe there's been some movement already on that now some more upgrades to watch out for too aspas going to a 91 kiesa plus one yaya gundawan getting a plus two uh not yaya just gundawan getting a plus two kelly matson marmouche pierre le milieu smolarek and benjamin andre andre all getting upgrades i believe from yesterday's games uh those will take place on wednesday so watch out for that i hope the showdown upgrades happen before that but we'll just have to see now let's finish off the video by talking about content 
today as well on a Monday. There is one player SBC that we know is coming today. We actually don't have as much. This is why I say a little bit of a quieter start to the week. Mondays usually are a little bit quieter. We have one player SBC that is leaked according to our normal trend, right? The um, week one goodies that EA showed to us. Juan Cuadrado is coming as an SBC today. In my opinion, this might be one of the bigger names of the leaked player SBCs uh, that is on this list. Quadrado has a Thunderstruck card this year, and I was able to pack it earlier on. And he is very good. This card I used for not the longest of times because I, I was using the Evo Kyle Walker right after that. But this card was very good. He's already got the five-star skills. So imagine a five-star, five-star Quadrado. That's what we're looking at today. And this one already has 95 pace. So you're looking at high 90, maybe 97, 98 pace. Maybe that's too much, but 97 seems about legit for a Quadrado SBC today. Um, and you look at the state of this card as a Thunderstruck as well. Like, this could be a nasty Quadrado card that a lot of people would like to do. And I think it might be a more expensive one, kind of like Kingsley Coman. I could see it being 500k, 600k plus. And with the interlinks that we have had recently, Lautaro Martinez wrote to the final. Of course, Barella. Of course, how can we not talk about Bastoni? Like, I'm really thinking this is going to be an SBC that a lot of people will be at least interested in. That's why I picked up a Barella at 350, as you saw on my transfer list. I was like, all right, there's a potential that this card goes up today just because of that quadru quadrado coming out. And maybe a card like Bowie. Uh, who is still crazy expensive to me. His pack weight's like z zero. I don't know what it is. He's so rare. Um, he might drop today. So watch out for your right backs. I know we've had so many right back and left back like SBCs that have moved the market recently, but it's probably worth watching out for if that Quadrado is cracked. Watching out for some of your Serie A links, maybe even a card like this Viali. Um, a lot of people are investing in Cordoba because that's the perfect link. But uh, if I were you, I would try to go with something that's a bit more rare, a bit more niche. Um, if the SBC actually pans out to be something um, that a lot of people are doing, you know, that could be a, a little bit of an investment there. Just watch those uh, just watch those prices because that might be something nice. But that's the SBC we're expecting today. And the other one is really the 80 plus player picks going away. I think that might be the only other SBC that's expiring today, which I'm going to be very sad as this goes away. It's going to make me do the 80 plus times three, which just requires more gold non rares, which as I can see. I don't have any gold non rares. Wow, this is not really a worth it upgrade pack to do with the number of gold non rares I have. I need some more exchanges. I need some more uh, gold. I haven't done my daily gold upgrade packs. That's part of the problem for me, too. I'm going to turn these 81s, which is maybe not the most worth it, but they're common. So it makes me feel better about putting them into the SBC, which, whatever, I'll turn in two rares. Um, yeah, I don't know if this is going to refresh today, guys, or I don't even know if we're going to get an 80 or an 81 plus player pick. I would love to sit here and say, yes, it's possible because these are so good. So good for fodder as I get a terrible one, Konate. But I got so many walkouts from those yesterday. Helped me complete the Felix before it went away. Helped me complete the 88 plus. So I hope we get an 80 or an 81 plus today. But since we have so many other upgrades that are out, I could almost just see EA not refreshing it because we have the crafting. We have the 80 plus triple. I hope they give us a player pick, but I'm not holding my breath for one of those, is the way that I'll say it. Of course, we have the refresh, the daily login, and the 8220 today as well. I think our daily login might actually give us a reward today. Yeah, day six and 83 times two, cold, two boards, and then uh, maybe we get lucky and get something decent out of that. So that's the content today, guys. There's no leaks for evolutions as of right now. I'm really curious to see also what EA's content tweet will say this week and what sort of... Um, information it will say is coming i mean maybe that'll give us some insight into something just different that's coming this week i'm not entirely sure but other than that it's a good time to be trading good time to be flipping if you're in the right areas because a lot of the market is down but what a fun time to be on this game man so many crazy cards that you can create through evolutions the foot birthdays that are in packs and uh just everything that's going on what a time to be in this game ea have really fully brought in the hype back um, and of course, a lot of us are going to finish our champs games today, but really be grinding rivals this week with those packs being as good as they are. That's a good part of the game to be playing this week to get those best packs to move up into higher divisions since it's like actually worth it to play rivals. So we'll enjoy that as much as we can gameplay, you know, it is what it is. But that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. Check out the video on the second channel, link that above once again for more in-depth analysis on Evos. And I'll see you guys in a Twitch stream today. Appreciate you guys, man. Thanks for watching the videos. See you guys there. It's been Nate for the Peace.